And so what we did, we took computers and we used them as metaphors. So we don't need to study humans. We study computers deeply enough, we will gain insights about humans. Again, it's a fallacy. It's a fallacy on so many levels, I don't know where to start. It's anti-scientific. We, we never do this in science. We never study one entity with the assumption that this way we can totally decipher the higher functions of another entity. If you learn everything there is to learn about computers, including artificial intelligence, including artificial intelligence that behaves unpredictably, has emergent phenomena, epiphenomena. If you do this, then you learn everything there is to learn about computers and artificial intelligence, and extremely little about the higher functions of humans. And so we need to we need to regain regain humility. We need to regain humility. We need to begin to understand that psychology is a more rigorous form of literature that cannot provide us with insights which are deeper or better than literature. Um, we imbue psychology with meaning and with direction and with goal. And this is a classic mistake in science. It's called teleology. Because we cannot contemplate a meaningless world. We've dis I've discussed this in my nothingness videos. So we form our own meaning. We invent all kinds of things. Or we become the meaning. That's narcissism. And in the process, we sacrifice everything and everyone around us. The pursuit of meaning and the addiction to hope and the aversion to risk are the three greatest curses of the previous century in this one. They lead us to extinction, these three witches, Macbeth witches. They lead us to extinction as a species. Okay, Mini and I wish you good night and good luck wherever you are or maybe.